Right, hello everybody. What we're going to do, what we're going to try and do today is the 4.4 update for the Vosges 900. So me and my mate Chico, we've both got these at the same time. I've already done mine and I don't want to do, do it again for fear of upsetting it. So we're going to do it from scratch on Chico's bike. I'm following the instructions from another YouTuber, I don't know his name, but he's in, he's in Spain, he calls himself Motec Revolutions, he's a really good source of information about these bikes, they've had them in Spain a lot longer than we've had them, and, and pretty much everything I do on mine, on that one, has been from information that uh, Motec Revolution has put on his channel, including the link. So we're going to, we're going to, I did video doing mine, but I got that bogged down with setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot on the bike I had to stop videoing it, it took me a day to work out how to do the Wi-Fi hotspot, wi hotspot and that was down to me not the bike because I'm not right computer literate so we're going to do it from scratch with Chico's um, because nothing's been touched yet uh, Chico's got a VPN on his phone so we've got to turn that off first if you're running your, soft, your, your phone through a VPN make sure that's switched off because we know from setting the cameras up on these bikes as we know they've got built-in cameras um, the VPN on his phone stops it. stopped it so first thing he's going to do is turn his VPN off which he's doing now then we're going to go come to the bike we're going to turn the ignition on I'm sure you'll know all this already if you've watched Motec Revolutions videos and we want to find them the software that it's running at the moment so we're going to go into bike settings Come down to my vehicle, come across it down. And this is your version software on this line. So, Motec Revolution, because this was an, a slightly earlier one, he was on 4.1, both me and Chico were on 4.2, and what we're gonna do is upgrade to 4.4, all being well. So hopefully, I might have to pause this now, but I'm not sure, have you downloaded the app, Chico? Right, so what we're gonna do is download the app. The way we're gonna do it is a bit, bit long-winded, but what I'm gonna ask Chico to do is open up YouTube now. He's gonna to go to Motec Revolution channel. Which you might have it in already. The reason we're going into his channel is because he's put the link in his description for the software. Um, I don't know where he gets it from. The de even our dealer over here hasn't got it, so I don't know where he gets it from. If Apparently, he... I got told yesterday at the dealers that it might not be official website what update, but then he got in touch with his... Um, uh, Hi. Company, Hi. And, Hi. And, they, Hi. and they turned around and said it could be a, a official yeah. update, which yeah. has not got round to us yet. I mean, certainly it worked on Motec Revolution's bike. It's worked on my bike and made it tons better. So I'm I'm confident that it will go on here quite easily. Right. Yeah. So. We're back. We don't need to open the clip that Motec has put on. Lord of adverts. So we don't even we don't need to watch the clip. What we need to do is go into the uh, synopsis or whatever they call it on YouTube, the the information section. So just pause that. Just pause the yeah. So go back because we don't need to see that. So stand it up. So what we're going to do is go in here, go to more. In this little, I presume it's called a synopsis, I don't know, that, this is the link that we want. Oh, so we're going to yeah. press that. Now this can get a bit scary because it's, a, like I say, it's a Chinese, are they called an APK file or something? So we'll see what it says. It says, it, there's various warnings, but download anyway. Starting download.
So we're just watching the little download error now when that ends. Should have jumped on my Wi Fi. So we might have to pause this in a second. I might have to pause the video because we're not on my, we need to jump on my house Wi-Fi really. It seems to be taking a lot longer than, uh... yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back to it when we've got the Wi-Fi set up and get it downloaded. Right, so it's finally downloaded it. Um, we're gonna have a look now about installing it. So we'll open it with my files. I'm using Chico's phone. I could have done this video with my phone. Um, but I wanted to show this process, so uh, extract that. Because I want to install on all maps, yeah. Allow, so allow it to install Forgive it. Forgive the interruption, but I believe this requires install. your attention. Okay. okay. I'm not installed. Right, what we're doing wrong there. Install. To remove this project to set in security privacy and auto blocker. Right, how do you go to settings on your phone, Chico? Pull down. Go to settings. What were it security? Maybe no um accessibility warning. Yeah. Auto blocker off. Just turn it, just you need your fingerprint to turn it off. Yeah, so auto blocker's off, so we'll go back to that. Wherever it was there. Installing this yeah, that's okay, we're not bothered. Install anyway. Fingerprint installing open. So we've hopefully that's looking promising. We've got it open. So what we're looking at installing on here, as per Motec Revolutions, his video explains it as well. This top one and this bottom one, you can't see it now because um, it hasn't connected to the bike. When it connects to the bike, there'll be a check tick there and a check tick there. Um, and once you've achieved those, then this button here allows you to download it. So what we'll do now, we'll go to the bike. We'll go to the bike. You got your key on you? Yeah. And try and set up this hotspot. So ignition on. So what we need to find now is the hotspot code for the bike. And that is a bottom press on there. And these are the this is the setting that we want okay so we need to find your hotspot on your bike so connections mobile hotspot now well, i think we need to get it actually in settings that so connections bluetooth bluetooth ultra mobile networks it is i think data no, mobile hotspots, that makes more sense, doesn't it? 
So press that. And we're going to change this setting to this now. Okay, so what we're going to do is delete all that. You'll have to put it back in Chico when... Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, let's have that out of there because I can't access. So it has to be exactly as you see it on the screen. So I'm going to change that to capitals. P-O-G-E hyphen small d small d small d small d seven seven small b small b but then as Moltec Mr Moltec guy says you've got to leave a space so don't forget to add that additional space there now this is where I this is where I fell short with mine it took me forever to work this out on Moltec Revolutions video he said it's seven eights, so it's number eight seven times, right? On mine it was different, it was eight eight times and then a space. So I'm going to go and do that straight away with Chico. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, space, done. So I'm going to save that. Oh no, I'm going to change that to five. And save that. Okay. Now what should have happened there is we should have got a Wi-Fi, a blue Wi-Fi symbol there. We've got a hotspot created there as we can see, but no Wi-Fi there on the bike. What I want to do is we're going to start again. I've just noticed the bike's in rain mode and it might need to be in road mode. So, I don't know if we can do it in this setting. Oh, we can, so I'll put it, scroll through it. There. Right, so I'll leave it in road mode. I'll turn it off, turn it back on again. So, nothing. So what we'll do, we'll go back to what Motec guy has said. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and not leave a space and still we don't have a Wi-Fi try seven instead of eight what is that? forgive the interruption but I believe this requires your attention no it, it wasn't number seven it was seven number eight oh, okay. right but this time we'll leave a space because I had to leave a space Save, on, still nothing. Auto hotspot, one time password, prior treasures, no, didn't need to do any of that. So that's definitely right, E, D, 7, B. Right, so we're just going to have to mess around with this password like I had to do for nearly a full day. <laughs> Try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Space. Yeah, I'm going to try it without a space this time. Nothing. All right, I'll try it with a space. Save. Nothing. Let's try seven sevens. See, this, the save is greyed out, so we know something's not right. So we'll try another seven, and we've got a save, so... Nothing. Let's go back to all the eights. We'll go, oh yeah, we'll try it with the space. Save. Nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Save. It's not Bluetooth on. No, the, the, honestly, this is this is what it did with me. It took oh, me yeah. a day before it worked of, <laughs> of constantly changing and messing around with passwords. 
and then I was just about to set bike on fire and it worked. <laughs> Do you have to turn the engine off? Nothing. No, no. no what it does when when we enter this. So if I delete that space and press save, you'll notice it turns itself on and off, and then it comes on. But clearly not in this instance. <laughs> uh, what about changing that again? The band. No, no. The band is. All that that does is, once we make a connection, the higher the band, the quicker. But yours is a brand new phone, so you can actually go to 6 gigahertz, which most people, unless you've got a brand new phone, won't have. And I'd rather, because I know it works on 5 gigahertz, yeah, yeah. leave it on 5 gigahertz. Okay. Um, so, off and on. Uh, we'll turn it back off and come back in. We'll do it that way, see if that makes any difference. So again, through the bottom, the down navigation. Bluetooth is on. Yeah. Still not connected. Delete it all and start again. This is what I had to do. I must have done it car 500 times. Six, seven. We'll, we'll start again with Motex instructions. Now I can't because seven eights doesn't give me a solid save. So we'll put the space in. Turns itself on and off. And nothing. Is it not eight eights? Well, yeah, that mine was eight eights in the and end. Space. Yeah, uh, so we're just trying all these options. Save. Unless we're not giving it time to make the connection. Maybe it takes a minute. Let's add another eight in and land the space. And all we'll try just another eight. And then try eight with the space. And then, then try it again with the space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Space, save. Right, so just for the sake of video, I'll. Forgive the interruption, but I believe this requires your attention. <laughs> uh, for the sake of video, I'll just turn it off while we sort this out because it's taking, it, it's taking too long for the video. We'll be back in a minute when we've sussed it. Okay, so again, on about the thirtieth time of trying, we, we've got the signal that we want, the Wi-Fi signal. So we've ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a space. And it worked. I don't know whether we were giving it long enough or not, but that's what we've done. So now we need to go back to that app. And as you can see now, the two ticked. parts of this download are ticked. So what we should do now is press the download arrow and it's starting to do it. 
we've gone up to five megahertz so it should be fairly quick and it seems the progress bar seems to be quite quick on if the camera I'm not sure if I'm like I said before Chico's phone had six megahertz I don't I didn't want to risk it because that's not how I'd done it previously with mine um, it could be even quicker I suppose if you if you got it onto the six megahertz setting I didn't want to deviate from the instructions that Motec Revolution had um, put out anyway it's going quite quick Ooh. Don't want to risk taking a phone call <laughs> for cocking it all up. I'm sure she'll understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's always people trying to ring you when you're doing something oh, like that, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I did it, I was worried about it timing out, but it, it when you when you're in the settings, it holds the time. Because um, if you leave the ignition on these bikes, like most modern bikes, turn off. Um, when you're doing this, it will keep the ignition live while this completes. So now we get a request to confirm the upgrade. And all we do is press yes, or press enter, sorry, on the navigation buttons. Upgrade condition is met. And whatever that is, MCU yes. is rebooted successfully. Notify the MCU is rebooted. So you'll see now a progress bar, I don't know if the light will get it on this camera. Yeah, there's a progress bar, and again, fairly quick. So once it's happy, it's going to start the update. Technology, mate. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah. So. Again, it's quite quick. So I'm guessing at this point the app is on the bike and the bike is now just installing it into itself. So again, it's quite quick. Update successful. Can't remember what happens on mine. did now Chico uh, I think we'll just turn it back on your bike will never run again <laughs> we're going <laughs> back to China do don't be doing that <laughs> you grab your phone yeah <coughs> going on so I'm not moving me bike <laughs> Jesus Christ I'm taking BMW on <laughs> just done Chico I'm videoing it still we've, the, the upgrade's gone on but we've lost the dashboard uh -oh. uh -er. <laughs> knock it off uh -oh. I know I know oh I went to the dealers yesterday 600 quid for the front wheel there was a new wheel or a new wheel yeah, yeah. Right, I'll stop recording while we sort this out. That fucking jump scare. 
we thought we'd lost the dashboard. It was just, it, I think it must have just took 30 seconds for it to load into itself. So we've got dash back. What we'll do now is go back into settings. Uh, sorry, not that one. It's the top one. Go into this one. Go down to my vehicle. Come across. Why can I never get that right? And there we go. So if you remember right at the beginning, we're on 4.2. We're now on 4.4. Result. So good result. And it's definitely noticeable on the drive. So we'll take him for a drive in a minute just to uh, see a smile on his face. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> high flow one. Oh, yeah. From yeah. Uh, Mr Wang. Mr Wang, yeah. I was going to do that last yeah. night. I thought, oh, I'd like to bite the bullet. Right, so, <laughs> uh, update's been done. I've done mine and I'm well happy with it. Chico's, we've done his, as you saw earlier. We've done how long, how far have we done? About 20 miles. Know, 25, 30 miles. What do you think? Perfect. It's... Noticeable improvement. Oh my goodness. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. I, I agree with you. Yeah. And I think, uh, like Motec, Motec Revolution said in Spain, it is a day and night difference. So if you've got one and you want to do it, don't be uh, don't be put off because it's dead easy. Yeah. And it's I'm, a good uh, update for it. Definitely. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll improve miles per gallon as well. Not that it's bad, but when I had my Beamer done, that the fuel consumption went down. So I've noticed fingers one crossed. thing that temperatures dropped. Mine was running right. Quite well, I, I was I was looking at mine just riding back then, and mine stayed in middle, middle normal. Yeah. So, so mine's yeah. never been in middle right. before this. Right. So all in all, we're happy, and we'll leave it at that. Okay. So as I'm sat here just editing this together, yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to cobble it together, um, which I'm struggling with because I don't really know how it all works. I've got YouTube on on my telly, and just by chance, I don't know if you can make out on the camera, Motec Revolution has put another clip out two hours ago talking about this update. And his, his title for his video is Placebo or Fairy Dust. If you're interested, go and find it and watch it. But on, on that clip, he's talking about MotoGB, who are the UK importers for these Vosges, are saying that the update, the 4.4 update, is only... A screen update, um, which I mean, we we a hundred percent disagree with. Having driven the bike now with the update on it, the transition, the throttle transition from powering on and powering off, is how it should be. Before it was so jerky, uh, it, there was just no smoothness or subtleness to it at all. It just it was like an on-off switch, F fuel on and fuel off just instantly, and the the, the jerk to, to putting power on was horrible. And then you know the the same thing, the the engine braking from from powering off onto overrun was like putting brakes on. Um, so I completely disagree with Moto GB. Um, they need they they need to go out and or do one of their own bikes, put this update on it, and do and do their own release about it because um it's it's startling how how transformative the, the the update is on the bikes it's quite incredible anyway that that's the guy we've been uh, referring to all through this clip so um go and watch his stuff